What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Friday. It is finally freaking Friday. I'm getting ready for my live stream coming up here in about a half hour or so. So I'm sitting here, and I was going through the Twitter. Twitter is cray-cray. But what I'm finding out is Dak Prescott haters, they're having a hard way to go right now. I guess if you talk about Dak Prescott sucks now, you look like just an idiot. And so now, you know, like Joy Taylor. Oh, I, you know, I, I, Dak doesn't have to prove anything right now. I, I don't know why he has to prove anything because, you know, um, it's December. I mean, excuse me, it, it's the playoffs. Can he elevate the team? I was like, okay, all right, tell it to somebody who cares. But Skip Bayless. Skip, 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 skip. Skip. Skip Bayless, who has been the anti-Dak Prescott, said he's a garbage-ass quarterback, called him Mr. Empty Calories, has literally said he would rather have Cooper Rush playing instead of Dak Prescott because he put it, you know, I saw Cooper Rush out there and the team responded to him and yada, 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 even though it was like 10 points less a game. So as I'm going through setting up here, you know, getting all my stuff together, so make sure I got my audio together and everything to make sure it's, it's, it's good. Go in here and, uh, I'll, you know, do, take a shower real quick and do my hair because I know primetime Phil says I need to have it slicked back and all that so it looks good. And I came across Skip Bayless said, the Dak Prescott I saw last Sunday looked like a quarterback that could carry my Dallas Cowboys all the way to the Super Bowl. And I literally spit out my Italian sub. I, have to, I haven't heard it yet. I haven't heard it. So I'm going to listen to it with you guys, and you tell me what you think. As I've said, even this week on Undisputed, when Dak's name begins to pop up, bandwagon begins to roll for Dak being MVP, at least being in the conversation for. I say, nope, nope, nope. Disqualified in my book because of what he did or didn't do at Arizona, at San Francisco, at Philadelphia in the fourth quarter. Where, as you know, my Cowboys went up and down the field. 14 first downs they made just in the fourth quarter alone to zero for Philadelphia. 14 to zero. Up and down the field and still lost. 28 to 23. In largest part because my quarterback couldn't make one play. Just one play. Somehow, some way, one play. In part because my quarterback stepped out of bounds when it looked like he could waltz into the end zone on a two-point try that would have at least set up mm -hmm. a last-second field goal to force overtime. Okay. But despite all of the above. I'm, I'm waiting to hear. Where I'm he also thinks. here to tell you right here, right now. That I weirdly, shockingly, I don't know, maybe wrongly. Feel better than I have about Dak Prescott since his rookie year. When I fell in football love with Dak Prescott hmm. out of Mississippi State in the fourth round of the draft. Mm -hmm. Dak led that team, 2016 team, mm -hmm. to a 13-3 and record and a number one overall mm -hmm. seed with a lot of help from his new friend, the first-round pick, Ezekiel Elliott. But Dak was Offensive Rookie of the Year, and Dak did deserve it, even though I underestimated, underrated just how important and valuable Zeke was to Dak. I am speaking from the... Uh, hang on for a second. Does it sound like he is really reading that? It, 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 the way it, it, the, the, everything is so monotone and choppy. Is he reading this? Or is this like coming from the heart? I, I, I'm asking for a friend. The bottom of my soul. You, you know I'm hard on Dak. You don't Maybe have too hard on Dak. The crazed cowboy fan that I've been since I was 10 years of age. But I truly liked the way 
he operated on Sunday, albeit against the Giants. I liked his body language. I liked his swagger. I liked his aura. He came across as supremely confident and even more important, happy. Dak just looked happy, happy on Sunday, oh. happy in the new offense. <laughs> Orchestrated by Mike McCarthy. Oh, Lordy. Oh, this my is goodness. his eighth season. Oh, Lordy. But he appears to me to be at the peak of his powers, in the heart of his prime. Okay. So, anybody else believe any of that minutia that you got from Skip Bayless? Is is Dak now the, the real deal? Hmm. Interesting to say the least, and that's typically what Skip Bayless will do is he'll say the least. Um, you know, I'm I'm gonna be cautiously optimistic with with what we have right now. Again. You know, I know it was just the Giants. You know, we're playing some of the teams that right now that aren't going to be playoff teams. Let's be real here. Um, those weren't great teams. Let's see what happens when we go back against the Eagles. Because that's what – and Dak played good against the Eagles the last time, although everybody kind of plays good against the Eagles' defense because their secondary is terrible. Um. But it's nice to see them get on track. The way this offense looked to start out with, it was just ass, ass. And you had to start questioning and saying, Mike McCarthy, what the hell's going on? Because it was terrible looking at those first couple of games and, you know, having Brandon Cooks. And he is doing absolutely positively nothing in the offense. The running game wasn't there. Dak looked like he was checked out. He had him in a stationary pocket, you know, and uh, the offensive line wasn't blocking. It's just like everything looked completely discombobulated. I hope I said that right. But the last few games, and maybe this is what they need, is to have some games against some inferior opponents to get some work in. So that way they'll have it perfected by the time they start thinking about the Eagles and the Bills in Miami and playoffs yeah I, i'm talking about playoffs so it's good to hear skip bayless at least not uh you know saying so much crap about dak prescott uh we'll see how long it lasts i'm sure at the first sign of any any hiccup in the road it will end up being that uh skip bayless will get off the bandwagon hope you're having a great time great evening and i'll see you guys really really soon appreciate you